Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about should you have more than one board in your Jira project? There's a couple of reasons why I think this is a good idea. There's also a couple of reasons why this is a bad idea. We're going to be discussing the good, the bad, and the ugly, addressing the pain points that give validity to my recommendation. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or a very strong opinion about anything that I cover today, let me know in the comment section below. Please do make sure you drop a like because that signal really does help this channel grow and it helps you to promote this video to other people. So make sure you do that super easy, super free to you, drop that like button. Also, I have a merch store and so I have this really cool I Heart Jira t-shirt. So if you're interested, I have multiple designs. Get this one, get one of each, get one for your coworkers, get one of each for each of your coworkers. I don't know how much money you have, but if you got that kind of money, get one for everybody you know. Finally, the last announcement is I actually now have paid courses available. Many of you have been asking, do you offer paid trainings? And yes, I finally have launched. I have three trainings. Everything you need to know for the merch and for these trainings is down in the description below. So check out those links and help support the channel as either buying t-shirts or taking these trainings really does help with the channel and helps support me and the team here. Let's jump into Jira and let's discuss today's topic. All right, so going into Jira, you are probably presented or you've probably seen something like this where you just have multiple Jira projects. And so we're just gonna pick one just to kind of illustrate what I'm trying to talk about today. So when you go into a Jira project, I'm just gonna click on this ATT one, you'll notice that you have a board. And usually, by default, when you create a Jira project, you get one Jira project and one board. Whether it's a Scrum or Kanban, you get to pick, but it's one-to-one. -one. I like to call this my studio apartment. That is, when you walk into your Jira project, you get to see it all. You see everything like if you were in a studio apartment where everything is just from one single position, you can see everything. There are no rooms. There's no other doors. Nothing gets hidden. It's just one-to-one. -one. And by default, almost every team does this. But there's a couple of pain points. There's a couple of scenarios where this view is just not appropriate. And so let me talk about a few of them. One, if you manage multiple team members, if you have a front-end team, a back-end team, a database team, a UX team, if you're managing these different team members, all their stuff is just out in the open and you can see everybody's things. Wouldn't it be nice if you can create like a bedroom for your UX team, a bedroom for your front end, a bedroom for your back end. They're still in the house, they should still share the common areas, but wouldn't it be great if you can kind of just like organize their issues and put them into a room where their clutter is in their room and it doesn't have to be where all your company and your visitors are gonna see. So this is kind of what we're trying to address today. Another scenario is maybe you just have a really, really large team, not different teams or types of teams, but maybe you just have a giant team and they got all their messes everywhere and you just wanna organize this mess. Very similar to this first scenario, but with the only exception of it's just one team, right? You maybe have 15 people and you're just working on so much stuff. There's just so many things that are going on. Your backlog's really, really big. So maybe you just wanna help organize these and put these into different rooms. And then the final scenario that I wanna talk about is maybe, and this is probably worst case because I like to think of Jira as a house and the boards as rooms, as I've kind of been illustrating here, but maybe you're the project manager of multiple projects. That means you have to go to multiple houses. So if you're just having to like leave the house, go to another house and go into that one just to see what's going on there, maybe you wanna have a compressed view because wouldn't it be nice in any of these scenarios, wouldn't it be nice if you just had a one place, one house that you can go to and have full visibility of everything that you're responsible for? This is what we're gonna be trying to address. Now there's some good, there's some bad, and there's definitely some ugly that we're gonna be talking about next. Let's start off with the good, cause I like talking about the good stuff and maybe it's the optimist in me, but the good stuff. And this is, I think I made this pretty clear in my last statement here is, you get one place where you can see everything. This is really, really good because your attention doesn't have to be diluted by going to different projects. Today, if you have multiple projects, you have to go to this project to see what's going on, Remember, visualize what's happening here. Then you gotta go to another project, go look at that board, figure out what's going on there. And then you have to go to another project and so on and so forth. And you just keep going from project to project just so you can visualize all the work. So the good 
about this technique that I'm going to be showing you here today is that you can just go to one place, one Jira project and see everything else. Everybody's still going to have their own board. Let me make that abundantly clear. Everybody will still have their own board. They'll still have their own sprint. Everything is still very much autonomized to that team, but you don't have to go to multiple houses because right now you have to go to multiple houses or if you're all sharing one room, you have one backlog, you're going to be breaking up your backlog into multiple backlogs and into multiple sprints, but they're all still going to be in the same house. So there's some goodness there. Now let's talk about some of the limitations, some of the bad things. The first thing is your basic roadmap capabilities will break kind of. You are allowed to have multiple boards in one project. Those roadmaps will not break because the criteria is still within that project. So you're probably just going to divide the work, the issues in that project into different categories, maybe by component, maybe by release, maybe by the team field, maybe by a custom field. As long as it's still within that project and the issues all live in that project, you're still good. But if you decide that you want to bring in issues from another project, if you want to bring them into this board or into just this project, then we're going to have a problem. Then you're going to get an error like this where Jira is going to say, no, the basic roadmap doesn't support this. Your JQL filter, and let me show you what the JQL filter looks like. Your JQL filter under general is going to look like this, where you have project in and then you have two or more projects. If this scenario, if you have this scenario for your filter criteria, this will break your roadmap. So you want to be very mindful that how are we design this? You try to avoid this, but you might not always be able to avoid it. So then you have to do that trade-off analysis where you determine, is it worth having everything in one view versus having that backlog view? So if you're a Jira premium user, right? If you already have the advanced roadmaps, you might just not even care about this because guess what? The advanced roadmap supports multiple projects in one view. This might be a moot point for you there. The other thing that I want to discuss about is when you go down this route, when we basically add multiple boards to a project, there's one key element here. And if you're distracted, if you're multitasking right now, you want to make sure you pay attention here. Okay. So listen to me for just one second. If I can add just one second of your time, right? When you create multiple scrum boards, this is only applicable to scrum boards. You want to ensure that your filter criteria, whatever technique that you use, I'm going to show you the techniques in a second, but whatever technique you use ensures that your issues, specifically an issue, can live in one and only one board only. You do not, under any circumstance, want an issue to be in two scrum boards at the same time. Because when that happens, your issue is going to go in two sprints. And if, when you close one of the sprints, that other sprint will automatically close as well, even if the cadences were different. So you want to be very, very careful that when we do this, this is the bad and the ugly all in one bundle here. Because when we do this, this can cause tremendous headaches for you. So you never want to create an opportunity where an issue is going to be in two active or two scrum boards at the same time. And worst case, in two active sprints at the same time. Because this is just going to cause all kinds of headaches and it's not good at all. There's a way to ensure that this doesn't happen. I'll talk to you about it here. But I just wanted to get this all out of the way. So how do we do this? How do we give you this amazing all-in-one view? Well, it all starts with your filter queries. When you come into your Jira project, it's actually really easy to create multiple boards because anybody can basically come to the board here, whatever name of your board is, and you can come down to the bottom and hit the create board. At that point, you can pick whether it's Scrum or Kanban. And the cool thing here is that it doesn't matter what you originally picked. A Jira project can have Kanbans and Scrum ones. It can have a mix. It doesn't have to be one to one. So you can create your own board here and you basically create boards. And what that starts to look like then is when you have multiple boards, you'll notice here my hand board, I have a hand board, but I also have a new items for whatever this is for review. And then I have a new board for T2. And so all of these three boards live inside of this project. And it's really easy to just toggle between the three boards. As you can see, super, super easy. But again, the most critical thing that you can do is ensure that an issue like this initiative here only shows up in one and only one scrum board. Now, this is not a problem if you're in Kanban. In fact, in Kanban, this is probably the behavior you want because 
The Kanban board will help you visualize everything. And it doesn't matter if one board moves it to done or another board moves it to done because you just want to see that the issues are done. And so in Kanban, this is not a problem. This is only a problem when we're talking Scrum because it goes into those two sprints and it will close both sprints out when whatever sprint closes out first is going to close everything out. So this is the only time we have a problem with this situation. So I wanna make sure I address it here as clear as possible. And so to do that, my recommendation is when you are creating your filter so that you can basically segregate. Because the other thing you got to consider is when you create multiple boards in Jira, they all inherit the same filter. And that same filter is show me every issue in this project. But that's not good because what's the point of having three boards that show you all the issues? Like it doesn't make sense. You're going to have three carbon copies. That's not the intent. The intent is we want to create rooms. We want to create dedicated rooms with specific criteria that basically say, hey, you belong there and you belong there. And what we're trying to avoid for one issue to be in two places at the same time. We don't want that because that's kind of hard to do. In the filter criteria, when you're creating your filter criteria here and you come to edit filter query, you want to use a field. And I recommend you create a custom field, specifically a single select custom field. Because as long as you use a single select custom field that can only have one value, then that issue is going to be piped based on that criteria. So for example, I can have a custom field here of favorite dessert. And this is a single select. And so if I want to rename or make my board filter for instead of all just to be the cake board, I can do this and hit save. And so when I do that and I go back to my projects, this is probably going to show me nothing because I've essentially kicked everything out. But I can also now rename this board here instead of being the T2 board to be the cake board. Because guess what? Only the issues that are in this project and favorite dessert equals cake are going to show up here. And so you might have guessed it. Now I can make a board for all my other desserts. And so the cakes are going to go in one. The chocolates are going to go in another. And you get to determine how that setup happens. And so now when I create an issue, specifically here, this is my, and I'm going to put my, my favorite cake, tres leches. <laughs> Doesn't like Spanish apparently. My tres leches cake, three milks. When I do that, it will show up in my backlog. Now it's not showing up here. It says it's not currently visible. And that is because this issue here doesn't have my dessert type. So I actually have to then go into the project settings, go to my screens down over here under issues, go to screens, and then I got to bring in that dessert. Now I'm doing this not scripted. So I am most likely going to make a mistake, but there was something about favorite dessert. I'm going to bring that field in and I'm going to go back to my projects with Thanksgiving too. Now I can't find the issue in the backlog or the active screen because it doesn't meet the filter criteria, but it's still in the project. So now I can go to issues. Here's my tres leches. I can open this up and now I have a field for favorite dessert. It's valued under cake. And now when I go back to my backlog, this should show up here. So let me hit refresh here. And then here it is. Now that you've met the right criteria, then those issues are going to show up. So now when I go back to my hand board, a different board, and I go to the backlog, I should not see my tres leches because guess what? The filter criteria for this board, let me show this to you real quickly, is favorite dessert equals candy. Okay, obviously my names aren't aligned, but the point is the other one had cake, this one has candy, but because we can only have one value, the issues are going to be piped to the right place. But the hand board or the candy board, the cake board, they're all going to live here and I can now toggle between them all. And each one of them has their own backlog. Each one of them has their own sprint. Each one of them has their own reports. And so now I can independently still manage my teams, but only be inside of my Thanksgiving two project without having to go to different projects. Hopefully that was beneficial for you. I know this was a bit of a more complex topic. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If I need to clarify anything, let me know. Cause I am now making shorts and I can very easily make some clarification videos. So ask your questions in the comments. So I can reply back with a video answer. And don't forget to support the channel by getting your I Heart Jira t-shirt. Don't forget to check out my courses, see if something there can help you out. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.